USB RGB gaming microphone. No, I'm not a gamer. But I do have to use external microphones when I'm doing recordings on laptops and stuff. For, for example, when I do a lot of my sublimation and laser videos, I will show some stuff on the laptop. I do use an external microphone for it. A lot of times it's a lapel. Sometimes I like to have one to just sit on the desk. This company provided this to me to test and demonstrate, and I thought the best thing to use to demonstrate it would be this particular laptop here. It's an Acer, which does not like to recognize external microphones. So we're going to try it out on this one. I'm sure it'll work on some of my other ones, but this one is always ornery, so this is the one I'm going to try it out on. Coming up. I'm Roger, welcome to the shop, and this is a little bit different. This falls into my camera and video and recording equipment, that kind of stuff there. When they offered me to uh, test and demonstrate this, I thought this would be a good thing to use uh, when I'm doing a lot of my on-computer recordings because I don't like being tethered to that uh, lapel mic if I have to get up and go get something or do something. So it would be nice to have something that will just sit on the desk or table. So this, uh, I haven't even opened this yet. This just came. So we'll open this up, see what we got here. You got your user manual. There is an adapter here for a regular USB to USB-C. A little thing that's got a picture on it that says unhappy or happy. And it's got QR codes inside and we'll look at that later. So we have a stand, a small one here, a pop screen, some people call it a spit screen, but it's actually a pop screen to keep uh, certain letters from making a popping sound when they're being recorded. And we have a USB cable. And we have the microphone. So I would say assembly here should be pretty straightforward. Take the stuff out of the plastic, screw this on, and get it adjusted here. There's a little thumb screw at the bottom here you can adjust to get it to aim right with the platform here so it doesn't go tipping over on you. It does have a shock mount. It's got a little port up here for headphones if you need to monitor it. And the USB port is on the bottom. So this is a USB-C to USB-A. And the adapter you can make it go C to C. So we'll get that plugged in under here. And the little pop screen. I probably should read the directions, but what fun would that be? It appears that it snaps right over the top here. There we go. So if you were talking at it at that angle, you know, if you had it down like this and you were talking at it, that would be a good pop screen. I would be talking down at it most of the time. As it would be sitting on the desk, I would be talking down at it. So I'd probably have that aim down a little bit. I don't know what the directional pickup is on this yet. Now I'll take a little bit of a look at the manual here and see what I need to know. I have my program opened up here. It's called Streamlabs. It's something I use to uh, record the and capture the video and audio when I am doing some work on a computer to demonstrate something. So what I'm going to do here is says to just plug this in to a USB port and it'll automatically get recognized. And that the little light should come on. Oh, the lights do come on on it. And I'm looking here, so what I need to find out is if this is going to recognize it or not. So I'm going to go on the computer and see what I can find. Okay, this here is something you don't normally get to see. This is the program I use to capture the video and audio on a computer screen. It's called Streamlabs. And as you can see here, I'm on mic aux 3 because that is the build a computer microphone, which does not always sound very good. So my question is going to be how well this will recognize this. Well, what's interesting here is I have a microphone plugged in, and the uh, I did a little bit of recording there, as you heard, with uh, using the built-in microphone on the computer. But now I am not getting anything at all. So I need to check some settings here. And getting into the uh, Bluetooth and devices and under devices, it does see, the computer does see that it's a USB audio microphone. Uh, why Streamlabs isn't seeing it or nothing else is seeing it and it not working, I don't know yet. Okay, getting under system sound and properties, I found my microphone here. 
and there's a little thing there about allow apps and windows to use this device for audio and right now it's set on do not allow so I need to have it allow so we'll see if that makes a difference okay I'll show you here what I had to change oh I've got my computer speakers on okay making one more recording here just to kind of see how this uh, peaks out and, uh, and does in post again I won't know exactly how this sounds until I get it in the post, and I'm not going to alter anything in uh, processing. I'm going to leave this as is, just as I will leave the uh, built-in microphone that I started out with as is. Okay, got her working, and again, I wanted to use this particular laptop because I have messed with this and messed with this with some of my other microphones, that, uh, and it just did not like it recognize them. I had to go through a little bit of mess it around here to get this entered. Um, this is very directional. You need to talk straight into it. If you're up here, you're not going to pick much up. There's also a mute button on top. So if you're using this for gaming or in a conversation and you want to mute the conversation, just tap the top and it turns off the audio. You tap it again and it's back on. Nice little feature. How it sounds compared to the speakers in the computer I won't know until I put this in post and process the video because I cannot hear exactly what this is recording. I'm watching the uh, screen on here as I'm holding this up to uh, see what it does but if I put it too far away example I put it clear down there it does not pick up the audio nearly as well and obviously that would be a good reason but when I'm sitting at a desk and doing demonstrations with this computer, it will display it. I should say it will record it properly and I'll get the proper volume. I hope. We'll find out in post. So again, this was provided to me to test and demonstrate and again I use the my Henri computer to demonstrate it. I'm sure if I would have plugged this into one of my HP laptops or my Gigabyte laptop up there, it would have picked it up just fine but I, I know this one has been a hassle for every microphone I've tried on it therefore I want to use this one in case you were having any kind of problems you kind of see what I had to go through to fix it. So if you got anything out of this appreciate getting a thumbs up there'll be a link in the description of where to get this microphone on uh, Amazon if you would decide to purchase one I get a very small commission off of that because I'm an Amazon affiliate no way affects your cost I'm Roger in the shop. Got the microphone working. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.